Hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. Solana's blockchain today not processing. I think for the last um, two to three hours now, there hasn't been any block processing. I also don't know what caused it. I'm sure they'll find it out soon. Hope they get it running soon. Uh, it's been a while, you know, since the last major outage, um, but we are used to it. So anybody who's new, you know, you might not be used to it, but that's obviously, you know, there's a lot of panic now <clears throat> everywhere on social media, of course. I mean, that could develop into something major and it's always a bit of a warning always a bit of a red flag um could certainly lead to a break of the short-term bullish scenario we've been discussing here um on the chart obviously we've got this one two setup we discussed before but i mean we don't know that yet right there's a there's a bit of an issue there the market so far isn't really reacting to it yet it did lead to a short-term breakdown but then again what did i highlight to you uh, we talked about we have a triangle here and typically that's followed by a more rapid move. I don't even call that rapid yet, but it could be that something more dramatic is unfolding. But I mean, yeah, so far, uh, what did we say? We said, okay, five waves up. So we have a support area that we can use. We have an ABC structure. The C wave could be still unfolding. Ideal target for the C wave between 89.67 and 82.53. We haven't even reached that yet. So we might now reach it. Uh, thanks to Solana. Um, what else? And we are in a bullish support area without red candles. Um, corrections don't finish. So yeah, I mean, let's assume we, we complete that correction today. You know, during this sort of small panic. We'll see. It's, there's not even panic. I think Solana traders and investors are very much used to it. It happened a lot, a lot in the past. But I mean, yeah, something more let's say more dramatic could evolve out of it. And maybe we then finally get our deep wave four, which we never got, you know, maybe it will come down lower into the wave four support area. We don't know that at this stage. Um, I, I, you know, usually just trade the charts or highlight, you know, um, the chart, uh, let's say the, the levels support and so on. What is support? We had five waves up, not the cleanest, so we can't fully trust it. It's only a leading diagonal. But hey, we are above support and we literally only just entered the support area. Third wave could send us to $125 first and then maybe even $190 plus. But yeah, what is the issue? Obviously, um, OK Link does show that the last block was processed three hours ago. Three hours ago, I think sort of $2, two, two, two hours and 40 or something. And um, yeah, that's a bit worrying, but... Um, you know, I'm not worrying too much about it at this stage because, um, first of all, my Solana position is tiny. That's one thing. I mean, yours might not, and I would be worrying. But then we always provide anyway, you know, based on the charts, levels where structures break. So when the structure breaks, you have to make the decision that's right for your portfolio from a technical point of view. Fundamentally, we don't know what's going on here. Yeah, but I can only tell you that, yes, we are used to it. Happened many times before. Uh, I'm actually surprised that we haven't heard about these issues for a long time now. So things might improve on Solana. But yeah, I think engineers are working on it, obviously. So there is not much more to say. I did post it also on the X network. Twitter um, highlighted here recently that two uh, hours ago, the last block was processed. Obviously, they are looking for solutions and reasons, the root cause. Okay, I haven't seen anything that would describe what caused it. And obviously that we're used to it. So if you want to be up to date, uh, I'll likely uh, also mention when it's fixed and everything, then yeah, follow us on um, social media, on Twitter, the X network, you'll find the link in the description. Just please make sure that you follow the official account and adhere to some general safety practices in social media. We would never um, send you a direct message on social media proactively. So again, the, the chart scenario doesn't change. We did have um, as more direct breakout scenario the orange count previously on the chart um but this I, I took that off that was one variant of this structure in which a more direct breakout was possible but it would have needed to break above 107 dollars to confirm that so uh, at the moment the correction is still unfolding giving us a cleaner and larger abc structure as anyway shown in yellow um, here. What are the next support levels? Next micro support after the price is now broken below this last swing low, which is the A wave low. Well, we've got the $91.57 level, 89.67, 88.37, 86.88, and then 85.21. Bear in mind, 
that I've been uh, highlighting this trend line a few times. So maybe we just touched that one, okay? Looking at the indicators, it's not even oversold. So it's not even exhausted to the downside, technically speaking. So there is still a little bit of space that it could use to the downside. But yeah, there is not even... I mean, we see other coins that are coming down in a similar way today, right? So I wouldn't even call that a major catalyst at the moment. Possibly was a small catalyst, but a breakout of a triangle is normally even more aggressive and rapid. So at, at the moment, I think all we can do is just observe it. If you want to trade the setup, there's the setup. I wouldn't worry so much about the fundamentals, maybe obviously being a little bit on alert, but we can't do anything about it anyway. And it happened many times before. So that's my update about Solana. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.